fellow foodies and welcome back to another episode here with me on Lynn's Caribbean Kitchen. Now in today's recipe, I'll be sharing with you my devil eggs recipe. Now it's Easter is right around the corner. Actually it's about mm, four days away. So it's a good recipe to get your kids involved. We know we have kids home on vacation as well. Let's get them involved in this recipe. Put those little hands to work. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. Okay, let's begin by placing our eggs in a pot to boil. Place it in there, add some cold water. When our eggs are finished boiling, we're going to shell and set aside. Now, to begin, let's start by cutting off one end of our eggs. This is to allow the eggs to stand. Next, using our knife, we're going to cut the, the other end of the egg in a zigzag motion. This would form the cap. If you like, you could also cut it straight across, but I wanted some girl chicks and some boy chicks. So I cut some jagged and some I did straight. We're going to take all the yolk inside of our eggs now. Be careful at this point because it's very easy to cut the white of the egg here. Hopefully white will fall apart at this point. So we want to scoop all the yolks out and set them aside. This is what we should remain with here. Next I'll be using some sweet peppers, some sides, some dills, chopped my dills fine, mustard, mayo, and of course some salt and black pepper. I'm gonna add all this to our yolks and mix. At this point, if you like, you could add some pepper. If you're gonna be making this for kids, you can omit the pepper. Okay, so some of these ingredients are totally up to you. You could omit these sweet peppers if you like. You could add some onions. It all depends on you. I like the dills and the sweet peppers to give it a nice little crunch. Okay, so you want to mash all this together. Because you want to form a piece. Consistency should be not too thin. So to place our mixture back into our eggs, I'll be using a piping bag. If you don't have a piping bag, you can also use a Ziploc bag or any plastic bag and just snip the edge of the bag. Okay, good. So let's get ready to fill our eggs. So when you fill in the eggs, you want to fill it a bit higher than the top of the white of the egg. So when we place our caps on, we'd have room to stick the eyes on the nose. Okay, 
to make our eyes I'm using some olives you want to take a knife and just make some circles to form the eyes to form the beak and feet I'm using some carrots sliced thinly and we're going to be taking out some wedges the wedges will form the beak and we're going to form the feet So to form the feet you want to take two to three wedges out and then you want to cut on the outside and this here will form the feet. So I'm finished forming my feet eyes and beak. So next we're going to assemble our chicks. So to form our eyes we're just going to be sticking those olives in. Doesn't it look cute already? Guys I did have fun making this video. I hope you have fun as well. You know we're gonna stick a piece of the carrot and then we're gonna put the itty bitty feet looks so cute already gotta have a sense of humor so we're sticking the eyes in her nose and then we're going to place her feet so we're going to complete the rest and then come back I use parsley on the girls and the boys with the marker carrots on the top of the head. For my display I use some breadcrumbs. So you can be creative, you can add whatever you like to disguise your chick's eyes. Go ahead and just have fun. And this is our Easter egg recipe. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel to see more upcoming videos and see you again next week.